The Curtis P-40 Warhawk, a prominent fighter aircraft of World War II, played a significant role in various theaters of the war. The Curtis P-40 Warhawk was a single-seat, single-engine fighter aircraft produced by the American manufacturer Curtis Wright Corporation. It first flew in 1938 and entered service with the United States Army Air Corps, USAAC, in 1940. The Warhawk was also widely exported and used by Allied Air Forces, including those of the British Commonwealth, the Soviet Union, and China. The P-40 Warhawk was known for its rugged design and combat durability. It featured an all-metal structure with a tricycle landing gear arrangement, which was considered advanced for its time. The aircraft's design was heavily influenced by its predecessor, the Curtis P-36 Hawk, and it shared many similarities in terms of its fuselage and general layout. Powered by an Allison V-1710 liquid-cooled V-12 engine, the P-40 Warhawk had a top speed of around 360 miles per hour, 580 kilometers per hour, and a range of approximately 650 miles, 1,046 kilometers. Although it wasn't the fastest or most maneuverable fighter of the war, the Warhawk was praised for its robustness, allowing it to withstand significant battle damage and continue flying. The P-40 Warhawk gained significant recognition during the early stages of World War II, particularly in the Pacific Theater. It was the primary fighter aircraft used by the American Volunteer Group, Average, famously known as the Flying Tigers, in China. The Average, composed of volunteer pilots, achieved remarkable success against Japanese forces, largely due to their effective utilization of the P-40 Warhawk. One of the notable features of the P-40 Warhawk was its armament. The aircraft was typically equipped with 6.50 caliber, 12.7 mm machine guns mounted in the wings, providing substantial firepower for engaging enemy aircraft. However, the early models of the P-40 lacked the ability to carry bombs or drop tanks, limiting their role primarily to air-to-air -air combat. While the P-40 Warhawk's performance gradually became outclassed by newer and more advanced fighter aircraft, it continued to serve effectively in various combat roles throughout the war. In addition to its use as a fighter, it was utilized for ground attack and reconnaissance missions. The Warhawk saw action in North Africa, the Mediterranean, the china Burma india theater, and even the Eastern Front, where it was flown by Soviet pilots. Despite its limitations, the P-40 Warhawk's combat record was respectable, and it served as a workhorse for many air forces during the war. Its ruggedness and reliability made it suitable for operating from rough airfields and in demanding environments. The aircraft's availability, ease of maintenance, and relatively low cost contributed to its widespread use. In summary, the Curtis P-40 Warhawk, known for its toughness and serviceability, was a versatile fighter aircraft that made significant contributions during World War II. While not considered a top-tier fighter, it played an important role in the early years of the war, particularly in the Pacific Theater, and its reputation endures as an iconic symbol of the era. Comment below of which aircraft I should talk about next and subscribe for more and if I hit 1000 subscribers I will talk about ground vehicles.